Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part seven of Let's Play Europe Universe Last Four. Um, uh, Man Day of Heaven, as Ming in the last part. Well, we were fighting a war against Bengal, which we're still doing, actually. Do you know what? Let's get all our men here. Uh, there we go. Fine. I'll leave you alone, dickhead. But yeah, we also have our new uh, upgraded uh, guys. We now got like a nice cool um, uh, slash knob blade. Anyway, now you guys said if I harmonized, you said while harmonize, you said harmony goes up when you harmonize, but it doesn't. It decreases. Like I I'm not being fucking dumb. It does decrease, so we're not going to be harmonizing with anyone. Just to let you guys know. I'm not going to lie, this war is kind of a fucking pain. He just doesn't want to fucking let me get him, does he? Yeah, fuck him. Fine. Uh, Dong Ma. Our first race organizer. Dong Ma has done fantastic work for armies. Tales of Dong... Uh uh, Ma's abilities have spread far and wide, so we can have gain five meritocracy and a stability. Yes, please. I'm not even going to bother the prestige. Fuck that. Now, who's going to get... Who's sieging faster? I have no siege generals and neither does he. So this is going to be based on pure luck. So I've definitely lost this fucking siege. Yep. <laughs> like... How did I immediately fucking get a shit roll? Like, what, what did I do wrong? You, come here. Thank you. That region's happy now, so he's gonna fuck it. I, I can't believe I just did that, but... Because he's on tech 6 and I'm on tech 5, I needed the tech points, but... I'm pissed off, so I'm bringing my men. Also, the uh, I think the Koreans got some new units in there. Yep, the Koreans look pretty pretty dope. Uh, the uh, Northern tribes look pretty dope as well. I don't know why I say dope, but you know what I mean. They look pretty cool. Don't know where that dickhead's going, but going somewhere. That's, that's as much as I know. I hope he goes to attack him, if I'm honest. Come on, do it. No, apparently he didn't want to do it. That's pretty dumb of him. So we could attack here and 10,000 of our men and it'll cost me five. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we seem to be losing. You see, we're, the morale seems to be in our favor, so I'm not going to complain. So we're going to swap these units around. What the? Oh, fuck you. I can't help him. I need to get broke the I need to break these four uh, this fort down here. Um Can I enforce tributary status in this? So we're just going to have to uh, basically use this war as just a uh, a uh, fuck you to the game, but yeah, we're gonna get um, improved war taxes. Uh, I already knew that because free war taxes sounds fucking glorious. Until about the fit, so we've got about thirty years of it as well. So pretty happy with that. But yeah, so we're gonna be making a shit ton of money. We're gonna probably build some uh, build some product. Oh, I can't build production buildings yet. My uh, tech isn't good enough, unfortunately. Still can't go. How is that predicted by a hostile fort, though? <sighs> Whatever. Not questioning it. So we've got 7% in the north. Well, and then we just need to beat the Bengalese army, which I'm going to be using my badass looking men to do. So, shouldn't take too much longer. Can't must admit, I'm kind of happy of being. Uh, 
having the first, being first at the moment. It's making my life pretty uh, easier. Renaissance, it's just not even spread anywhere near me, so. Once we get these two done, uh, Bengal's probably just screwed. Rebellion-wise, we should be fine. In July of 73, we'll get the new tech, which is going to be brilliant. Okay, we've sieged the north. No. Nope. All right, this fort me is like blocking everywhere at this point, it seems. So if this fort's not done, that's it. Nowhere else. It, 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 like, just, you can't do anything else. So basically, no fun. What do I get for high harmony anyway? Tolerance of true faith. Yeah, the yearly meritocracy though decrease though that is just a, that hurts and all the other stuff you get for it. I don't have enough prosperity. Look, my question is, how the fuck do I not have prosperity when I'm fucking? I have one prosperous region. But I have fuck tons of prestige. Give me prosperous regions, you prick. Yeah, these read this. This yeah, we're getting some. Uh, High amounts of um, devastation right now. But the AI deserved it. Political crisis. Uh, we'll lose fight one stability. That's fine with me. Not even gonna, but there's no reason to read it. I know what the, the event is. And there we go. Let's get some workshops. I'll do for now. Oh, I can't have barracks yet as well. Barracks would be so good for us. I was like, what, what idea did I pick? I picked defensive. Oh, that extra morale would be really nice right about now. But then again, so would the new units. So I am gonna, um, I'm gonna hold off and get the new units as I wanted to. Uh, yeah, my luck in this fort business is just not good. You know what? I don't want to have my two armies sat there, but this guy has a better general, so I'm gonna give him the siege. Right, shouldn't take too much longer, and then we can save Jarkland. Not going to be able to help Bengal though, unfortunately. As much as I wanted to make them my tribute, tributary. Right, shouldn't take too much longer for this fort to be finished, and destitute banknotes. As more and more unbacked notes are being issued by the Imperial Government, our officers of, officers of trade are fearing the inflation will soon be growing problem in the Ming Empire. And the province is the people have st started talking about this being a sign of us losing the Mandate of Heaven. A representative arrived at court today proposing a scheme to reinvigorate the Imperial economy by means of a temporary tax combined with the reforms to the Treasury. Alright, fair enough. I'll get in five Mandate and that. Not long, and I will uh, have regained the imperial in my imperial integrity. I hope. Fuck yes. There we go. And then soon enough, we will break this asshole's army. That's right. Run away to there. Good boy. No, 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 not the fucking 18k. You go there. Once these two are done, we're going to go see break his army. He has a two free... Fucking hell, he has a good general. I don't want to waste that. How old's our air? He's 44 and he's slightly better than uh, our, our king, so... Yep, that was actually worthwhile. I was like, that was surprisingly worthwhile, actually. Damn it. Oh, well, so we won the fight. You've got to be fucking with me. Give me a military axis, you little prick. So, an 18k there. There. 13k up there. 14k over here because I don't actually know where I need to put you at the moment. 
So. Not long we'll get in the Arquebus. Uh, the Arquebus Tech. And we can uh, see what we can do with that. Uh, Mongolia, if you had a good attitude towards me, we could be friends. And you could help me get the mandate if you could help me get uh, the C ban. But because you're not a great guy, I mean, you're just not going to, are you, though? There you go. So we beat Bengal. Just. I mean, I probably lost more men than they did, but I am completely okay with that. Uh, there's no missions for us, unfortunately. So, preparing the Great Wall is going to take a while, but construction of the Forbidden City isn't going to be too hard. We just need max stability, which, yeah, that's okay. Maybe max stability is going to be a bit hard. I'll admit that. Max stability is going to be a bit of a problem, but I think I can do it. Do you know what? You're going to go there. You're going to help protect this region. Oh, that should be good. Right. Is there any more of these assholes who I can... Is there... Actually, let's do this the easy way. Macro Builder. Which one is it? It's one of these. Yeah. We cannot establish any tributaries. Which is unfortunate. One day, though, ladies and gentlemen. One day. Uh, that Chicago Shogun has done a pretty good job of uh, uniting themselves. Oh, yes. Also, people over here now have got um, badass-looking... Uh, things. Hosokawa is probably one of the better ones. Hatakiyama looks pretty cool as well. Uh, same with the Auchi, but yeah, it's all it's all uh, opinions, isn't it? It's really what, it depends on what you guys like and what I, I, I like, so it's all relative. But yeah, so at the moment we're just uh, waiting for our mandate to increase, get a mandate, uh, do some fun stuff with that. Put myself some barracks is in my land. Holy fuck, I'd hire you. could have a really big one. But why would I build in your land when you're a tributary? Is not anything special to me? Looks like the Ori are going to revolt. But we're going to get ourselves some Samurai Cav, I would say. Yeah, we got ourselves some Samurai Cav. But more importantly... Spend nearly all my money on the on there those. I should be able to deal with these rebels uh, alone. Have the uh, emperor, uh, uh, Kaizen Zhu. I believe that is how you say it. And fuck, he got the he got it, which is very unfortunate. Yeah, I'm doing way more damage than he is. That'll be thanks to the uh, four shock or five shock. Sorry. Which is perfect. Not gonna lie, I really wish I could get this production efficiency one. But I'm not having my fucking harmony decrease for like fucking 35 years at free a year. 35 a year at free a year. Do you know how much that would go down, ladies and gentlemen? That would go down by 105. So no matter what harmony we're at, we would go to zero. And we'd gain tolerance of the true faith, yield development cost, and yearly meritocracy. Just, yeah, just no. Fuck that. No. Fuck you. I'm not doing anything. I'm keeping my... I'm not doing that at all at the moment. Fuck that. Oh, shit. Diaviet. Oh, Diaviet's still alive, but... Lanzang decided to gobble up the majority of them. Where are they? Could demand additional tribute, but I don't want any. Yeah, you guys can give me manpower as well if you don't mind. Uh, the House of Zoo is shaken. Deny fervently, I guess. Yeah, we can get our second idea now: military drill, which gives our, uh, gives us a good amount of morale. I think morale would be pretty useful for us. I must admit, I do want to attack the Mongols again. If I do force tribute, can I take land with that? I can still take land with that. It's not worth it, but I can do it. 
I'm gonna prepare to try and take more of Mongols because I wanna kind I want to take over all of this. And like if I could integrate all this without having to kill it, I would, but I don't think I can. So I'm gonna work on uh, preparing to take it in. I really want to get rid of this air and hope I have a better one. Oh, fuck you, game. How have I not got a son? Seriously, how have I not got a son? Well, the Ming Dynasty is basically going to die because I'm just not, I don't have a fucking son. So that's nice. To be fair, though, that 45 year old was shit. We've got a royal marriage to the Ashikaga shogunate. Uh, yeah, our wife's from uh, Korea, though, so that's interesting. There isn't many daimyos left for the Ashikaga. They've uh, done a pretty good job of. Uh, they've taken out only a few, but yeah, they've still got they've got some like a lot of powerful ones, which can actually be pretty useful, I'd say. So well done, well done. Improve our prestige to 50. I don't really want to do that. I'm a good game. Um, so I think what they're going to do at the moment is just wait it out. Wait out everything. Um, prepare to destroy Mongol again. Probably make them a tributary because I, as much as I want to destroy them, I kind of want to see get all of these done. Just to make me feel better. And we'll probably get another one of these in the Age of Discovery, which I'll probably just get the Feudal de Jour d'Or. Just because. Um, I'd love to have, like, have some more of these, but unfortunately it's not going to be as, it's not going to be possible, so I'm just going to accept that and move on. Yeah, Bengal's getting his ass handed to it now by Arisia. If Bengal gets small enough, they might allow, allow me to establish a protector on them. Yeah, the, yeah it's the development's not helping me establish them as a protector, so hopefully it does what I can once they're um, much smaller. I feel like I should get temples everywhere. She didn't mean to do that. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, or should I get workshops everywhere? Let's get workshops until at least about until we can't afford them anymore. Got to get that income much higher. Um, yeah, they're about, the separatists aren't too frisky. I have enough army down, enough armies down there. That I'm just gonna turn the forts off for now. That little bit of extra income will be nice. I am not gonna be giving you that game. Yeah, we're still build, like slowly building our opinion, the opinions of our subjects up. Yeah, we are. See, this looks so nice. Holy crap, Mongol got their ass handed them, and now. Brietia, which I guess is the faction up here, is doing some damage as well, which is quite nice, I guess. Um, what do I want to do now? I get quite a lot of stuff from these guys, so I'm pretty happy with that. Manpower, I'm already aware of my limits. I'm guessing no matter what, I still get manpower, which is great. Well, manpower for my tributary is nothing to no one else, I'd say. I'd love to go make you my bitch, but I don't have a reason to go down there and kick the crap out of you. Same with uh, down this area. I don't have reasons to go down there. Unless I did. Yeah, you know what? Fuck, fuck Mongolia. I'm going to change my mind. No, I don't. Nope. Nope. No. Okay, fair enough. I'm guessing it's only people you have boarded you that you have the Force Tribury. I'm guessing so. I suppose that makes a lot of sense, but I mean, yeah. I've kind of, I'd kind of prefer to be anywhere within a certain distance. It would have given me more options, but can't complain too much. Uh, I feel like we should go to War Mongolia just to get that, just to start shit. Oh no, we've, we've got a true still. You know, fuck you, I'm gonna build a spy network while I can. May as well. I must admit, it's some nice art in the uh, Age of Discovery. Um. 
Yeah, the only good one of one of them, in my opinion, is Feudal de Jour Law. The rest of them don't really seem that useful. Oh well, not much I can do about that. I'm still not prospering, which is upsetting me. Oh, it's because our ruler's shit, that's why. Makes sense. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to this part. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. See you guys next part. See you guys then.